Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and welcome back to the fifth episode in my course play tutorial series. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about how to merge courses together. So in the last episode, we covered kind of the basics of how to save and load courses, and so we're kind of going to expand upon that here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is fire up our tractor and open up course play. And I've added a couple more transfer courses in here. So we're going to go ahead and load the first one, which is Shop to Farm. So we're going to load that course. And if we use the preview function over here, you can see that we're going to leave the shop, drive down the main road, and come up this road here, and pull into our main farm area right there. But I actually want to go up to the pig area. So what I'm going to do is over here under Farm, I've got a Farm to Pigs course and I can append that course at the end. So now we're gonna leave here and we're gonna drive up here and we're gonna run this course and then we're gonna immediately jump into this course which will then drive us from the farm up to the pig area. So now that we've got that loaded we can say first waypoint and drive course and I'll go ahead and activate stop at last point. And we'll just follow along as the tractor now drives itself from the dealership up to the pig area. All right, so there we have it. We've reached the pig farm area. So there's one more subject I wanted to cover with regards to merging courses. So I'm gonna go ahead and record uh, two example courses here on this field, and then I can show you uh, using those courses how uh, merging at crossing points work. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my tractor here and open up course play and I'm gonna say start course recording and I'm just gonna drive up here from this corner over to the other corner and when I get to basically about the middle we'll say a little further maybe here I'm gonna put a crossing point and then I'm gonna keep going and then when I get over here to this corner I can go ahead and stop. So then I'm going to save this as field 25 northeast to southwest. And I'll clear out this course. And I'm going to go ahead and record one more here. And we're going to start at this corner. I'll bring up course play again. And this time in settings, I want to go ahead and turn on. Uh, this option here to show crossing points and maybe kind of hard to see but we should be able to see that crossing point that we recorded earlier we might have to get a little bit closer so I'll go ahead and say start course recording and I start heading this way towards the other corner there it is so we're gonna go I did not put that in the middle, that's okay. We're gonna come over here to this crossing point, we'll get kinda under it, and then we're gonna set another crossing point here. And then we'll keep driving until we get over here to this corner. All right, and then we'll stop our course. And then we're gonna save this one as field 25, uh, southeast to northwest. All right, so we saved that course. And now I can close this out. Now what I can do 
is I can come back over here to the northeast corner. And I can load in my field 25 northeast to southwest course. And if we preview it, we can see that it drives from here to the other side of the field. And then I can merge in my 25 southeast to northwest course. And as you can see, now our course has changed and it's actually a V shape. So we'll drive out to the middle of the field intersect the other course and then come back up to this corner. So we'll go ahead and close the preview and I'm going to say first waypoint and drive course and then we'll tell it to stop at the last one and we'll just kind of follow along here as we drive this course. Alright so there you have it. Now of course this is a kind of an oversimplification right like <laughs> You don't really need this in a scenario where you would set up little courses like this to drive around a field. But what you could do is, uh, as you set up courses to drive from uh, various fields to different locations on the map, uh, you can set up crossing points. Like up and down this main strip through town is kind of a good example, right? So if you intersect this main strip, well, you could put a drop a crossing point as you go through. And if you have another course then that's also heading through there, you can drop a crossing point where it intersects with that. And then when you merge those courses together, if, if you ever merge them together, uh, it can, course play can then optimize the course to allow you to go you know, combine three or four together and then do it in the shortest course possible because it will take all of the intersections. So hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, if you did, would you please give it a thumbs up? That helps a lot. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.